What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Blair Wiggins Outdoors today. We are in my hometown of Cocoa Beach, otherwise known as the Space Coast, here where they launch the rockets off and everything. Got a special guest with us today. We got Lisa Fitzgerald from the CCA, and we're going to be releasing redfish today. That's correct, yeah. That are already tagged. It's for the star tournament that goes on here in Florida every single year. It goes on all across the Gulf states, doesn't it? Yes, um, they've got several different tournaments that go on. Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, South Carolina, and uh, Florida. But Florida's is by far, in my favorite, is the best. Oh, no doubt, <laughs> no, no doubt. We release 167 redfish throughout the coastal waters of Florida. That many? Yes, yes, and it is the West Marine CCA Florida Star Competition presented by Yamaha. I will tell you, there are on average four tagged redfish per coastal county, and one cool thing about Brevard County is they believed in us enough to support eight tagged redfish here in That's your coastal awesome. county. Double any other county on the east coast of Florida. So if you're going to go fishing this summer, Memorial Day to Labor Day, you want to come to Brevard County because you will either win a contender, a pathfinder, or a spider boat, or $50,000 cash just for catching one of our tagged redfish. And there's a, there's a lot of uh, scholarships for there's college. There's $100,000 in college scholarships. There's 17 different divisions. There's boats in other divisions. Uh, we have over 100 winners every year. It is absolutely incredible. That's actually where you can go meet people, too. That's where I met Captain John Beach. We shot a great show with him this year off of Homo Sassa. And oh, wonderful. Uh, we, tore, we tore the grouper up over there. He came up running up to me, showed me all these pictures on his phone, and I was like, I'll be there. I'll come. <laughs> and it, it was only like a month and a half, two months later we were fishing. We had a, well, we had a great day. It's a great place. We're going to have our award ceremony here in um, Coco. So um, we're having it at the convention center. Uh, so there is a lot of really great things coming for this area and visit Space Coast. So if you're going to go fishing this summer, this is where you want to fish. That is awesome. Well, the redfish are right here in this big blue container, and uh, we're going to scoop a couple of them out, actually three of them. We're going to let them go right here on the Space Coast so you can come catch them and win scholarships, boats, a whole lot of stuff. You can meet new people at these CCA banquets that they do and raise money to help everything we got going on, trying to get this river back to life. Uh, you're to learn a lot about the uh, the clam restoration again today we did a great release uh, around marker 24 we're gonna go see how that do it how that's doing we're gonna check in on that but uh, let's get in the water see how these redfish do so what do we do we just pop this off and so there's a little see that white lip back there you slide that back and then just slide this to right here okay leave it so it balances there, there we, we go. go, and then I'm going to have you hold this because I'm going to get some reds in here. Now, is there, a, is like we're used to doing the redfish tournaments, is there a mixture in this water here that kind of no. revives not, nothing? We don't put anything in this water um, due to our permit. They don't allow us to do any sedatives or anything like that. I do, I will put G-Juice mm -hmm. by TH Marine in the tanks. Once I'm finished, once I'm settled down and we're not traveling, then I put G-Juice in here at the end to, to keep the water from the nitrates and all of the different things so that they have better health for overnight. But I don't put it in um, right away. Okay, cool. All right, so. So the problem with the um, tanks, I have to be able to kind of see where they are. And it's a slow process because I don't want to chase them. Yeah, Here's one. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll get a little wet. Easy, buddy, easy, easy. Pretty redfish. Ooh. Ooh, there he goes. Pretty redfish. There uh, he goes. First me... one going to the boat. It's kind of like the old redfish days, just a little opposite because we're taking fish out of our live well, not putting them in. I'm gonna ease this dude in. That's a contender boat right there. <laughs> That's funny. Join CCA. Y'all can win that boat if y'all come catch that fish. Got to get another one. Tender's already in there. 
now, oh easy, he's kind of feisty. That one must be the Pathfinder. And there we have it. We got some redfish. That'll literally change someone's life. That's a contender, pathfinder, or a spider vapor. Thank you. Yes, it Open is. Out. Let's go make somebody's life. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be on our way out. We'll see you on the water. Blair Wiggins Outdoors is brought to you by Starbright, blending technology with performance since 1973. Seaguar. Always the best. Lose. Feel the difference. Coastal Conservation Association Florida, the voice of recreational anglers for over 35 years. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anywhere. And by Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. Well, welcome back folks. We're out at the spot now and we can't release them right now. We got a couple of boats over our shoulder. We don't want to let them see what we're doing. So we decided to pick up a couple of loose rods and we are going to fish a little bit until they leave or we'll just go to a different spot. But the water's so pretty, I got to throw the line or two. Sound good? I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Been a while since I fished Cocoa Beach. Spot here. Sounds good. Welcome back, folks. We got number FL2811 right here fixing to come out on the Space Coast. Go ahead. You hold the bag open and I'll put him in the water. You ready, guys? Absolutely gorgeous redfish. There he is. Little dude. Little dude. Little dude. Oh, he's feeling good. There he goes. He's saying, ooh, I love my new Space Coast home. <laughs> 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 well, you know, um, this area is uh, very, very good for redfish, and, and I will tell you, if you're fishing this summer, I keep saying it, everybody asks me, where do you release those fish? And I keep saying, Brevard County, Brevard County, because you have eight. Yeah, it's a, big, it, it's a big county, and you have been from the southern end of the county to the northern end of the county tomorrow yes. to release some more. Yes. So there's redfish all up and down the Space Coast. So no matter where you fish, Indian River, Banana River, or Mosquito Lagoon, you have a chance to win a contender boat, a Pathfinder boat, a Spider boat, a $50,000 $50, cash. $50,000, a whole bunch of stuff. I always said, when this, when this first came you know, into fruition with the Star Tournament, I always said, God, you know, I wish something like this was around when I was a kid. Um, because, I mean, the waters where I grew up, I never really left home to go fish anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And to see kind of what's happening going on in the waterways right now, what, you know, with the, the pollution. We and should the, be standing in grass. Oh yeah, we should be, we, this should be grass everywhere. It was, it was a lush green grass pasture out there when I was a kid. And I used to wade these flats right here, sitting on the front of my John boat. And I wouldn't really, I, I would keep maybe one or two trout a day, never froze a trout. They even never hit the ice box because we always ate them that day and literally you could go anywhere in this river anywhere where you could have access down to it because I did it as a kid off my bike and get down there and catch a trap you would just catch a ton of them well I'm just keeping my fingers crossed we have had winners we've had lots of people catch them here in Brevard County however nobody has been registered in Brevard County to win a boat we've already had uh, this year prior to the start of the competition three fish that have been recaptured so you know get registered um, you and you were, you were telling me two of them got released, but unfortunately... One was harvested, but I went and replaced that fish. Cool. So everybody has at least four in their coastal county. Brevard eight, Citrus eight, and Charlotte County has eight. Okay, now what, what are the, two, the dates of the Star Tournament itself? Memorial Day to Labor Day. That's May 28th till September 5th, 101 days of fishing. It's less than a dollar a day if you fish every day of the summer. It's only $75 to compete in the competition and that gives you a membership in CCA. If you're already a CCA member, it's only $40 to register for STAR and youth 
All they have to do is become a CCA member for 10 bucks and they're free in STAR. Nice. Well guys, we're gonna take another break right now. Lisa's gonna tell us a little bit more about the STAR tournament coming up and we're gonna talk about the CLAM project as well and all the other projects that CCA is supporting throughout the Indian River Lagoon system and the whole state. Um, it's, it's incredible what's going on. It's a dream come true for me for the clams, a dream come true for uh, our, waterways. Uh, our waterways and hopefully the next generation will be able to get a sample of what we used to experience as a kid. Thanks. We'll be right back. Let's go do another one. All right, folks, we are at secret location on the Space Coast number two. Got Captain Lisa Fitzgerald with us and we are fixing to release another redfish with a tag in it for the star tournament. Let him go out. Show you what this guy looks like real quick. Big bad boy right there. He is. And there's his tag right there. How about that? Off you go, mister. In your new home. He, he likes his new home on the Space Coast, too. <laughs> All right, we got one more to do. Now, how many, how many redfish total are you saying in Brevard County? In Brevard County, a total of eight. Total of eight, so, so that's the most. there'll be three in Lagoon, and then the rest are out in the rivers. And um, it is the most redfish that is released on the east coast of Florida. So yeah, and I think I heard you say earlier there's 160. 160. 167. What did you start out with the first year? First year, I think we had 100 and, 100 and 45, but then I worked with the different counties to get them engaged, and the counties stepped up and bought more fish to put out in their county. So I try to keep it really, this is considered a destination county, mm -hmm. just like Charlotte and just like Citrus County. Each of those counties on the West Coast has eight redfish. There's only a couple places in the world where they launch, or in the United States where they launch rockets, and this is definitely one of them. And guys, we have put, I've chosen some spots around on the Space Coast where I know I fished as a kid, uh, a lot of hours as a kid. So starting here in a couple weeks with Memorial Day, that's when, the, that's when the tournament starts, right? That's right. So Memorial Day, when you guys are out here in the summertime out in uh, the Space Coast, I'm not gonna say where, but get out here and you can catch yourself a scholarship, a boat, anything. All you gotta do $50, is $50,000 cash. 50,000 grand. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna be right back. Uh, we'll be at the next spot. Redfish number three. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Let's go. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to today's show. Today's show is all about conservation and the CCA. Now the CCA is involved all around the Gulf states with conservation efforts, but today we're concentrating on Florida and the Star Tournament because the Star Tournament is an incredible tournament out there that anybody can fish in. All you have to do is be a member of CCA. If you're not a member, please go to their website at ccaflorida.org and you can find out all their stuff that they're doing out there for the environment. Stuff like habitat restoration, artificial reef projects, oyster restoration, over 625 million in funding for statewide water protection. That means we're gonna have a lot cleaner water with that kind of funds. And of course, the Indian River Clam Restoration Project that we started about four years ago now. And without the help of Captain Lisa Fitzgerald, it would still be just a dream of mine. So make sure you guys get to CCA's website, join and sign up for the Star Tournament because there was eight redfish released in Brevard County last year and not a one were turned in for any prizes. And there is a lot of prizes out there. One of the redfish has already been caught, but it has been re-released. So get out there, catch a fish, Get a tag fish and you can definitely win you some prizes. CCAflorida.org. We'll see you on the water. Well, all right, folks, here we are with fish number three. And this is a spider, right? Yeah, this is the spider boat. This is the spider boat. <laughs> you can catch them in any order, but just get out and catch them is what we really want you to do. So let's get this puppy in the water. We are going to get him out of there. Just reach in, pick him up. So you can see him. Whoa! He is not a happy boy. No, he ain't. Oh. You ready? Yep. There he is. There he is. A spider swimming away. Or a contender, or a pathfinder. He likes you. And he likes my feet. What do you think of your new home on the Space Coast there, buddy?
Lisa, this was one awesome day. We got to release three different boats, a contender, a spider, and, and a pathfinder. And a pathfinder that... I am, I'm telling you. And you know, one of those fish actually could have been a $50,000 Alta equipment fish too. That is pretty cool. You know, uh, too many people don't get registered. Brevard County has had um, at least eight people who have caught fish, but we're not registered in the competition. That's a shame. And how, how many redfish have you released in Brevard here? Um, we have released, we will release a total of eight, five in the river systems and three in the lagoon. You only got a few days left, huh? Yeah. Tomorrow's <laughs> another day, man. Tomorrow's another day. Guys, once again, please join CCA. There's every program out there that they can help out with, they do. Um, and they're all worthwhile programs that the CCA is involved with, uh, especially the clam project. The clam project. <laughs> the clam project. But you know, it's oysters, it's offshore and nearshore reefs, mangroves replanting, shoreline stabilization. There are so many great works, trash cleanups, youth scholarships, youth um, fishing programs. You know, it's not just one thing, and it's brick and mortar projects. Do you know to date, we have done $5.8 million in habitat restoration for the state of Florida. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, our clam project has definitely come a long way. We have, uh, to, to date, we're around 15 and a half to 16 million clams that we've put back into the water. And I and can't wait to, till we reach 300,000 clams well, back the, in the, the water. Well, the goal, and believe it or not, what they've kind of figured with the, with the tallies and everything, with, you know, people selling them on the black market, selling them to the commercial guys, sell them to their buddies and everything. Approximately 9.2 billion clams were taken out of the Indian River Lagoon system in Brevard County, this area here. Um, the, the harvest of meat went from like 9 million pounds of meat down to like 1,000 pounds of meat from 2009 to 2010. That's crazy. It is. It is absolutely crazy. But 9.2 billion, that is, our, uh, that is our goal and hopefully we can reach it. You guys help us out, join CCA, go donate to the Indian River Clam Restoration Project at IndianRiverClamRestorationProject.org. You can find out everything we're talking about about the clams and go to CCA's website as well and they can get their CCAFlorida.com, right? Yep, CCAFlorida.com. And uh, you can find out everything CCA is doing and help out because this river really needs it. But well, we got a little bit of time left. You want to go see if we can catch a fish? Let's go catch a fish. I think, we, I think we can go catch a fish. Let's see if we can. Well, it's definitely good to see all the mullet in here, Lisa. I haven't seen mullet in here like this in a really, really long time. I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm impressed with the amount of bait. Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a lot of bait. A lot for them little redfish we just let go today. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think it's about time we get out of here. This yes. wind's about had us to just at wit's end today. But we did show you that we released three of those redfish right here on the Space Coast, and there's eight total in Brevard County. That's correct. And I mean, y'all get out and just have fun and go fish. That's all fishing's about is having fun. Spending time with family, Spend spending time. time with friends. Exactly. Everything in moderation, sustainability, conservation. If we all think that way, eventually we'll get back to good health. I sure hope so. Don't forget about the website, BlairWilliamsOutdoors.com. You can keep up with all of our social media sites out there and see what we're doing. Keep up with CCA, the clam releases, the muck removal, the tree plant, everything that we are trying to do. Today's show is all about conservation and showing you what CCA and you know everybody is trying to do around here to clean up the waters because it is in desperate need. Our manatees are dying. I hate seeing these manatees starve to death. I've seen them swim by the boat here with, with the ridge showing and I've never seen that in my entire life. So if y'all can help us out as much as you can by going to the Indian River Clam Restoration Project.org, donate there. Go to CCAFlorida.org. Become a member. You don't have to live in Florida become, to become a member, correct? Yeah, that's correct. And yep. you, can, you, you don't have to live in the state to come catch one of these redfish and that's win a correct. contender. A pathfinder or, or a spider, spider boat. $50,000 to go to school with. <laughs> so, till next week, we'll see you all on the water. Thanks for tuning in. Blair Wiggins Outdoors is brought to you by... Starbright, blending technology with performance since 1973. Seaguar, always the best. Lose, feel the difference. Coastal Conservation Association, Florida, the voice of recreational anglers for over 35 years. DOA Lures, 
the unfair advantage. Miralure, turn on the bite anywhere. And buy Costa sunglasses. See what's out there.